I feel like I should probably listen to this criteria because it's not really complicated, but it's, I feel like if you can just explain it simply to somebody and it makes them smile or makes them sad or turn, like takes their brain to an awesome place uh, or an, an emotional place, it's probably a good idea. Uh, the hard thing is, is adding all those other lines to it and it still being a good idea, you know, because I swing and miss a whole lot of times on great ideas that I should probably go back you know, and, and, and try to, try to redo. But yeah, that's how, if it just, if it makes me feel something, I think it's good enough to chase, um, and see where it goes. I think that's different. I think the editing process is just, is different for different brains, just different people. I'm, I'm more, I beat up a line. I mean, I, I, I when, when I think of a line, I want to get it right right then. I don't want to just spout it out and say, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna go back later uh, and and fix that." I want I do each line, you know, like a puzzle. And a lot of times I'll I'll do I start with chorus first because that was the idea that sparked me. So I know that's where I want to go. So so I try to make everything head, right, you know, right back uh, there. But I'm 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 constantly editing. It's always nice to step away from a song. But if you're like me. You don't want to. I mean, if you're if you're on fire about an idea, you 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 can't stop thinking about it until you put the the period at the end of it and go, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Boom, and then you're excited to start a new one. Cause it's hard to start a new one to me when your brain's still really on fire for for something you started. But yeah, that's how I edit. To me, again, this is like this is just a personal. It's not really a technical songwriting tip, but to, for for songwriters in general, if I had like somebody who was like, "Hey, tell me about songwriting," I would say, "Don't let a, a bad song or a swing and a miss break your heart as much as it can." You know, because I mean, me and my friends, you know, like Doug, we write we write every Tuesday and. And we try so hard to, to nail, I mean, because it's not like we ever start an idea and go, hey, this is a bad one, let's write it. There are always ideas that matter to us. And I think at some point, all songwriters have to, to wake up and go, hey, it may take me, you know, 15 bad, just mediocre songs. You know, they're good, they sound good, that, you know, somebody might could cut them, they, they, whatever, but that you're going to get to that one it's always it's always one more song closer to that one like working on you know that we wrote where we had a real feeling we nailed it everyone can relate and it's really um it's marketable you know people can't can't hear it uh without just relating or loving it and uh you just got to kind of give yourself a break and you know try your best and uh, come home and don't be mad at yourself when when you swing when you swing and you miss. If we all could write hits just when, whenever we wanted to, we would all be gazillionaires. And we're not. <laughs> so yeah, just take it. Just just try. You know, get up and, sh and shoot every day. But don't you know? Don't get discouraged. Um, and uh, like Doug said, you know, be persistent. Love the process, and uh, you know. Try hard.